Hi everybody. Welcome, welcome. See you all logging on. How's everybody today? We're going to have a great day. Yes, for sure. You can start sending questions in now if you like. The topic for today and the title for today is everything is possible and everything is possible you know when you believe that's the kind of kicker you have to believe but it's not that hard it's really pretty easy our belief creates our entire life experience and so you can't if I put it this way you can't experience anything in life that is outside of your own beliefs so and that's that's the case for every single one of us we really can't experience anything that's outside of our beliefs hi everyone i see you joining us great to see you joining us um so if we can't experience anything that's outside of our beliefs what that means is, look at all those hearts, that's so beautiful. <laughs> what that means is there's not really one world. We kind of think there's one world, but there isn't really because we're all experiencing a world based on our beliefs and not one of us has the same beliefs, not one of us. So that means there's a different world for every one of us. So all of your beliefs are held in your subconscious mind and the subconscious mind is just a part of your mind there's the conscious mind and then there's the subconscious mind which is actually which is actually higher than the conscious mind and so we use our conscious mind with all of the thoughts and everything that we have our conscious mind is very present right and so to create anything you are using your subconscious mind your subconscious mind is what is really what creates if i want to make it really really simple then i would say your subconscious mind is what creates it makes things appear and manifest things and that's where all of your beliefs are stored kind of neat huh because you have to believe to manifest something and your subconscious mind creates everything so you can see it's all kind of perfectly designed um, so now to manifest you have to believe and you have to believe that you already have whatever it is that you want. And the reason that you have to believe you have it already is because the subconscious mind is only operating in the present. It can't reason. It's just like a program. So if you say, for example, um, a new car is coming, my new car is coming, I'm gonna get a new car, it's coming well then it's always going to be coming, right? That's the, that's the thing, you have to imagine you have it now. You have to go off and you have to test drive the car, you've got to feel the car, smell the car, and just then visualize being in that car. And then when you do that, that's how, if you do that enough, that's how you'll come to believe that you actually have the car. And the moment that you believe, there's manifestations instantaneous. So, so the other ways to believe is to affirm over and over and over. Um, so to be really repetitive, for example, um, to visualize and visualizing is incredibly powerful because when we close our eyes and we put ourselves in the picture and you must make sure you're in the picture and you put yourself in the picture with whatever it is that you want and you close your eyes and you just kind of create this mini movie, honestly. The subconscious mind does not know that you're imagining it, has no idea. It just sees that movie and recreates it. It's like a giant photocopying machine. It will just, whatever you hold in your mind, it will photocopy it, boom, into the world. So, um, so if you are thinking about something in the future, it's always going to be in the future. So you have to imagine that you have it now you have to act as if and um, for example if you wanted to attract a perfect partner are you acting as if your perfect partner's here already and so there are just small things that you can do that are super super powerful for example are you sleeping in the middle of your bed 
or are you sleeping on one side of the bed because your partner's on the other side of the bed? Do you have room in your wardrobe for your perfect partner's clothes? Is there room in your bathroom for their toothbrush and for their things? And so you see, they are just little things. You can set the table for two. You don't have to put food on the plate, but just setting the table for two is really, really powerful. It's saying my perfect partner's here already and the subconscious mind will believe it and your perfect partner will be attracted to you through the most incredible circumstances. So um, if something hasn't manifested yet and you really, really want it, and I, I doubt there's anybody out there who's who wants something and it hasn't manifested, right? I mean, I don't <laughs> um, I'll tell you the reason why it hasn't manifested is because you don't believe you have it. That's the reason. You have a belief that you don't have it. That's it. And so all, it's just a program your subconscious mind. It's really easy just to affirm over and over and over. Now, to make your subconscious mind believe that all of the things that I've just talked about, oh, I'm really clever, I remember them all. <laughs> Let me tell you about what I did with the secret because that's a big manifestation, right? And it wasn't just me, it was an amazing secret team and we all used to gather at 11 o'clock each day and have a meeting and we would all visualise the secret bringing joy to millions of people around the world. I basically affirmed and visualised and affirmed and visualised over and over and over and over and over with almost every single footstep that I took. It was so important to me. And look what happened with the secret in the world. So, you know, if, if that can be done with a bunch of Australians, <laughs> which is what we are, then you can, you can create anything. You really can. Um, so... Your subconscious mind is like your pot of gold. It's your Midas touch, your holy grail, your superpower, atomic superpower. And it will create anything and everything that it believes. So whether it's a body that needs to heal itself, whether it's attracting new relationships, wanting to manifest a house, family, passing exams, getting into college, getting your dream job, a promotion, a pay rise, a trip, a world trip, a new car, you name it. Everything is possible, which is what the talk is about today. So if you want to understand more about your mind and the subconscious mind, and I would really urge you because the more that you understand, the less control it has over you and the more control you have over it. I wrote about it, the subconscious mind and the mind extensively in The Greater Secret because it is so, so important. It's what is dictating our whole life experience every single second, not just the things we're deliberately, uh, deliberately creating, but it's also creating every moment. Like you attracted this moment being here on this talk right now. So every single second we're creating them all. So it's good to create just the ones that, the things that you really want in life. And that means that you only want to empower thoughts of what you want and you don't want to take any notice of the thoughts of what you don't want. So if you've got a whole lot of doubtful thoughts, you're like, what do I do about the doubtful thoughts? Guess what? Don't believe them. And they're, and they're, and they're impotent. If you don't believe those thoughts, they have absolutely no power. You are the power. You are all the power. So, okay. Is that good? Um, so we have, how's everybody going? Oh, hey, hey, Jenny, how are you? Really nice, really nice that you've joined us. Hi, Catherine. How are you, Catherine? Lucia. Uh, Okay, so we have some questions and I really hope that you get answers to your questions and even the questions that you didn't even think to ask, um, you get the answers to those too. <laughs> um, I have a question from Carolina on from Instagram and she says, in your new book, you mentioned that our entire world is nothing than a dream. My question, if everything is a dream, what is the reason we are here for? What is the purpose for us to be on planet Earth? 
So my new book is The Greatest Secret and there is a whole chapter in that book about, um, about the world is nothing more than a dream. And it, that particular chapter would, would answer a lot of questions you might have about life and things that happen in life. Uh, it's, a really, it's a really wonderful chapter. But if everything is a dream, what is the reason that we're here? And what's the purpose for us to be on planet Earth? So the reason that we're here is that we are all one infinite being. You've heard people talk about we are one. Well, we are. We are the infinite being. We're the only power in existence. And we wanted to have the experience of feeling like we're separate, separate individuals. And we wanted to have the experience of a world full of objects that we could feel and touch and move through. And so that's why we did it. We did it for the joy of it. We did it for the fun of it. We did it for the creation of it. There actually isn't any other reason other than that is because we're the infinite being, we can do anything we want and we did this. I mean, some of us have forgotten that we're the infinite being and that we're all the power and that we hold the universe in our hand and that we are the most exquisite, beautiful, beautiful being that there is. Some of us might have forgotten that and I'm just reminding you of that. Um, so I hope that answers your question for you, Carolina. Uh, a question from Rob. He says, I have a question that still confuses me. In the secret, it says to manifest, one has to one, ask, two, believe, three, receive. So as I understand this, that all plays out in the mind, which is correct. It does. To create, we need to use our mind. That's correct. But isn't stage three, receiving, step three, receiving, the same thing as being in awareness from the greater secret? Such a good question, Rob, and such a good observation. Yes, it is. It is the same thing. Because to receive, if you all remember to receive, you have to feel good, right? And when you're feeling good, when you are feeling any form of happiness, you are being who you are. And, and that is the infinite being that is that I describe in the greater secret as consciousness, as awareness. Um, so yes, it is the same. It's you, any, any time that you feel good, any time that you feel happy, you are feeling the happiness of who you really are. That's because what you are is all happiness. So, um, okay. Um, I can't see some of these questions. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I'm just looking at some of the questions. Oh, okay. So somebody's asked, can we write affirmations even if we don't believe it? That's the whole idea. Yeah. Because if you do affirmations, eventually you'll believe it. You really will. You go over, 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 over. And eventually the subconscious mind will eradicate the belief of not believing and replace it with the belief of believing. So affirmations are fantastic. They really are. I do affirmations every day, every day. So, um, okay, let me just have a look here. I'm just looking at some of the comments. Hi, Jess. Hi, Tonya. Hi, Paul. How are you? And do you know what? I want to tell you something fantastic because it is free. And seeing that we're all free, which we are, it's perfect. The Secret Super app, which is completely free, is now available on Android. So, um, so you, can, you can find the Super app on the Secret website, secret.tv. And it's on Android now. So all you guys, you can get it on Android. I see Sharon is saying, when to press, what should I do? Definitely, definitely get the Super app because the super app is full of affirmations. My team are helping me, they're telling me that. It's full of affirmations, so that will help you. And it's full It's full of so many inspiring things and it's free and it's coming into your life every day. Do you know, years ago, I had a 
had this dream that I wanted to be come into everybody's lives and and just help them with the secret and help them to keep thinking positively and feeling good and I sat down with my CEO and I said I want to like I just want to burst into everybody's lives really often so that I can help them and you know what back then that was like 14 years ago we didn't have the technology and it was like a dream and now look now look it's so cool and so the secret app is there to support you and um, it's full of amazing, amazing, amazing things. And it's every day and it's fresh and new, just like you. You're fresh and new too. So, um, okay, let me have a look for another question. Hi, Penny. Hi. Hi, Philip. Okay. Philip says, why do you believe we're all one being? I'm not convinced. Okay. Do you know what, Philip? I would suggest you go to a library and borrow a copy of The Greatest Secret and read that and then come back to me with that question because I, I don't want to convince you of anything. I want you to experience what you are. That's the only way you know is through your own experience. And so The Greatest Secret was written so for you to experience that, experience who you are. So. Um, I really like your question a lot and if you can find a friend who has a copy of the book or borrow the book from a library and read the book and then because the book is completely centered around that and it's not I didn't write it for you to take on a new belief I wrote it to take you step by step by step to show you what you are not and then to show you what you are because once you know what you are you don't have a single question left not a single question everything has been put right there isn't anything out of place when you know who you are so um okay let me have a look for some more questions um okay lucia has asked on facebook how can you activate your self-healing and help your body heal while feeling the discomfort in your body and you know it's tricky isn't it because the body has all of its sensations and it's kind of keeps reminding you there's this little thing going on you know what I'm going to do I'm going to give you something that I do each day and I'm going to give you this and also remember the super app and affirmations so you need to visualize what yourself well and I'll tell you what I do what I've done in the past is that I close my eyes and I just imagine that I am outside on a lawn and that I am jumping for joy and I and I'm going yes 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 that whatever it was has completely disappeared so that is um, that is visualizing or you can visualize a phone call with somebody that you're really close to like your mum for example and you're like guess what mum it's gone it's disappeared and just visualize that phone call until the subconscious mind gets a hold of it and then you're going to find you will be attracted to what will have it disappear and it will just disappear um, but in the meantime I want to give you and, you and you've got this recording okay so you'll be able to go back and write these down but these are just some affirmations that are really powerful that, uh, that's for your body. So I allow my body to heal itself. I allow my body to have perfect health. I allow perfection to manifest in this body now. I am happy, happy, happy. I am healthy, healthy, healthy. I am well, I am well, I am well. I am amazingly healthy. Thank you, thank you, thank you for my perfect health and well being. So those affirmations are really, really powerful for your body, okay? And for anybody out there, for anything that you might be suffering from, whether it doesn't matter whether it's something big, whether it's something small, whether it's something that's just irritating or um, those affirmations are really amazing. And remember, there are more affirmations of all the subjects that you could ever want on um, on this on the Super App, which is on Android. And of course, it's also available for iPhone as well. 
Okay, so, oh, I love that. There's a question here, how do you believe when the monkey mind takes over? I love that monkey mind because that's what it's like, isn't it? But you know what? It, it really, it can get very, very, very quiet. I really want to inspire you and encourage you that it can get very, very quiet. And so, um, so one of the things to do is just don't identify with all of those thoughts that are jumping around everywhere. And this takes a little bit of practice, right? Because what might happen is, um, let's think of some situation. You're at work and your boss kind of gets into you about something. And that's usually when the monkey mind appears, right? When you're upset and then it's just like, great, got all this energy, I'm gonna go crazy. Boss always picks on me, boss does this, boss this, that. And so when you have a situation like that, where the mind is doing that, just notice the mind, just notice it. The minute that you notice it, you are no longer believing it and your mind is going into the background. If you would just notice those thoughts instead of believing those thoughts. So if your boss speaks you out and then you, and then you start to have all of those thoughts, and you know what, you might be two hours later, you might be the next morning and you've still got all the thoughts coming and then you suddenly remember, notice the thoughts. That is fantastic that you've remembered because that noticing disempowers the mind. The more that you can notice and not identify with those thoughts that you don't want, the weaker and weaker the mind will get, the negativity in the mind. And soon it's just going to be like a little lamb that you can use for whatever you want. Because that's all, that's the only reason why we created the mind. We created the mind, for my, this is my teacher told me this and I love it. We created the mind for one reason, to, to manifest what we want on earth. That's why we've got it. It's not our psychologist. It doesn't know anything about psychology. It's not our psychiatrist. It doesn't know anything. It doesn't know anything about your mum. It doesn't know anything about your best friend or your boss. So just keep it in its right category and, um, and then you will start to lessen the impact of your mind and that monkey mind will start to get quieter and quieter. But it's a great question. Even if you could just notice monkey mind is at it, even if you just notice that, the minute that you notice it, it means you're not believing the thoughts anymore. Because do you know what? It really doesn't matter how many thoughts come fly, the mind sends to you. You're not your mind, by the way. That's a recording, you know. But the mind is just sending heaps and heaps of thoughts. They are not you. It doesn't matter how many it sends. All that matters is that you don't believe the ones that you don't want. That's all that matters. Let them come and go, you know, let them come and go. It doesn't matter a bit. Just don't believe the ones that are not, um, are not what you want in your life and that are negative. Okay, so, huh. so I'm just going to check for another question. Um, wow, so Derek is asking on Instagram, how do we combat negative energy that we are forced to interact with? And I, I mean, if you were feeling really, 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 really good, Derek, really good, any negative energy wouldn't come into your experience if you could keep your frequency up really high and be feeling really happy and really good. But the, that, so that's just one thing. But the other thing is, is that I would just welcome that negative energy. Because if you welcome the negative energy, you completely disempower it. So, and I've explained the welcoming process several times. Welcoming just means you're not resisting it. And right at the moment, I can feel you're resisting it, right? And how you know you're resisting something is when you say, I don't want that. Okay, so when you say, I don't want that, that's your cue, you're resisting it. And when you say, I don't want that, it will stay because resistance will, will keep it there. And also law of attraction doesn't understand the word don't 
or no, or if negative doesn't exist for law of attraction. So when you say, I don't want this, law of attraction is, I want this. You know, I want this negative energy. I want this negative energy. Um, so that's the first thing. And the second thing is, is to welcome it and to really, so welcoming is just to allow it to be there just it is, as it is, not trying to get rid of it, not trying to change it, not trying to fix it, because the more you can do that, then it's got nothing to stick to and it can't be in your life. So, so if you can just relax with it and just say, oh, hey, well, it's fine. Um, and if it is affecting you, then go off and do the secret shifters, you know, go and listen to some music that makes you feel good, go and do something that makes you feel really, really good. And, uh, and then just whenever, like you see, I see that it's just such a great opportunity. Like all of the things that we see as tough in life, I just see as a gift. Because when, when you've got negative energy, what are they? They're like angels. That's like angels giving you giving you an opportunity to release all the negative energy in your body. They're like they're like angels, messengers that that are here to to show you that you've got negative energy in your body and you can release it just by welcoming it and allowing it to be here. So anybody that gets at you, you know, <laughs> that gives you a charge that irritates you, instead of Focusing on them, feel the emotion that you have inside of you and welcome it. Oh my gosh, and let it go because then you're just going to get happier and happier and happier. So, um, okay, so let me see. Let me, uh, let me just talk to you guys. Hang on, I want to have a sip of water. Ah, somebody's asking how to convince parents for your boyfriend. You have to be convinced. You have to be convinced that your parents are convinced. You have to visualize them. You have to visualize them loving your boyfriend. You have to visualize them being over the moon. Only when you are completely convinced inside that your parents are convinced, then you won't have any problem. Okay, so, oh, hi, hi, um, from Canada. Hi from Canada. Mark, hi Mark, we're all one, it's true. Oh beautiful. You know, you will ask the most amazing questions. How, how do I say that name? They go so fast. <laughs> they go really fast. Guys, you go. <laughs> oh. um, I just want to see what you are saying. I want to talk to you all. I love you too. I just, with all of my heart, I can't tell you how much, oh, I can't tell you how much I want to help everybody in any way that I can and for you to have the lives that you deserve and you especially to know how incredibly powerful you all are because you are just the, you're the infinite being. There's nothing, there's nothing bigger than you. There's nothing you know, there's nothing that has power over you. Absolutely nothing. You are the most beautiful, exquisite, all intelligent, all intelligent, all knowing, all ease, all effortlessness being um, in existence, only one. So thank you to, oh, thank you to Lucia. Thank you so much. Okay, um, all right, let me, I'm going to look for another question here. Um, all right, so here's a question from Instagram. When do I welcome a negative thought and feeling and when do I be the station and just observe it? Okay, so this person is talking about an analogy that's in The Greatest Secret and it's an analogy that one of the teachers gives to say don't be the passenger on the train but be the station that is still and the train just flies by and thoughts just fly by and but just be the still station and so oh where did that question go um 
I can't find it now. Okay. Thanks, guys. I've got all the team here. So, um, when do I be the station and just observe it? So, that's the thing. That's the whole thing. I mean, do you know you've answered your own question? Because that's all you have to do is if you have a negative thought and a feeling and you just observe it but don't identify with it, which is don't believe it, right, and you just observe it, that's it. You've done it. You know, that's it. It's amazing. And, uh, and so if you could just notice it, you don't want to focus into it, right? You don't want to focus into it, um, but just notice it so it's kind of in the background kind of thing. Um, then you've done it. I mean, that's what that's what you do when you're observing something and when you're noticing something, you're not believing it. Um, you're not identifying with it. And so you're disarming it completely, which is perfect, right? So, um, so I hope that helps. Uh, oh, wow. I love this question. This question Nisha on Instagram asked, how to remain peaceful and calm in every situation. That's like our dream, isn't it? To be peaceful, to be full of peace and calm in every situation. Do you know, I, I didn't even know if that was possible. Like when I discovered the secret, I was just, I really, really trained that monkey mind <laughs> to be positive, positive, positive. And, um, and so completely changed my life by just changing my mind and the way that I thought. But to, but still there were times and situations that arose where the, I, I would get completely disturbed and this emotion would just rush over me, negative emotion would rush over me. And it's all, all through welcoming, through, through discovering who we really are and through welcoming all of the things in the greater secret actually. And now I pretty well live my life in calm and peaceful in every situation and and you can do it you can have that life and if you are calm and peaceful you're happy you're happy all the time and so there there aren't many things that disturb my peace of mind anymore and because we don't really i think we put it in the greatest secret um we're not looking for peace of mind we're looking for peace from mind aren't we <laughs> really that's the truth. So, yeah, so when you understand who you are, who you really are, and and then you start to have a happiness just arise within you, then you just find that person that used to annoy you just doesn't annoy you anymore. And you'll be like, how come I get on really well with that person? I, what, what was it that ever bothered me about that person? Or, or the restaurant that you never really like to go to, and when you go to it, you're like, why didn't I like this restaurant? This restaurant is so cool. I mean, they've got this new menu and I don't know what you I don't know what was wrong with me. I've completely changed. Nothing will affect you in the way that affects you anymore. And and you know everything in life, traffic jam. It's just you know when you get caught in traffic, do you know what the universe is telling you? Stop. Stop. And just be still. Just stop and be still and be calm and be peaceful. That's what it's telling you. Everything is a gift. Absolutely everything. So I hope that I have helped you today. Um, I just want to say hi to some people again. How should we? I'm just looking at your comments. Hi, Mike. Esther, <laughs> thank you, Esther. <laughs> it is deep, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so if I didn't get to your question, um, I hope that just the same, I answered a whole lot of things that will help you in your life. Remember to be happy, 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 right? It's a really good affirmation. I say it every day, you know, so, so if you can do that too, um, don't forget about the secret super app Android, Android version that's out now, which is really amazing and it's free. 
I love you all. I want to thank you so much for being here. You mean so much to me. Thank you for being here and I'll see you again soon for more questions. Okay, bye.